Hi there, Leah here with your first news round update this Saturday afternoon. Coming up, meet this painting beluga whale and why these rubber bands are causing a row. First up, a script for the new Harry Potter movie has been found and handed in to a national newspaper. 118 page document for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was reportedly picked up in a pub in Hertfordshire in South East England. The script apparently sees lots of changes from the book. The newspaper says it's given it back to the filmmakers Warner Brothers. Now there's concern some teachers could go on strike in England and Wales. The UK's largest teaching union is unhappy about children being able to help interview teachers for jobs. Has anybody else got anything to say about a lesson that they found particularly difficult? At this school in Reading, students often take part in feedback sessions, telling teachers how they thought the class went. Children are also involved in big issues affecting the school too. Anybody can join in, so everybody, like, it's not just like clever people, so like everybody can have a go and everybody can have their say. Everyone's getting involved and you feel like more part of a kind of like a big family of the school. Can't you just put your hands up? All teachers who want to work here not only have to be interviewed by the current staff, but by the children as well. I've always felt with student voice that as long as it's genuinely representative of the student body as a whole, then certainly um, they have a very positive part to play in the running of a school. Schools across the UK are encouraged to take pupils' views seriously. In England and Wales, they have to by law, and at this school they welcome as much involvement as possible. But some people think that children now have too much power in the classroom. The teaching union, the NASUWT, are having a big meeting today. They reckon children have no place interviewing or assessing staff. This teacher was interviewed by pupils and she doesn't think it's right. My concern is that, you know, it can affect teachers deeply, I think, and become an issue that, um, you know, as I say, if left unchecked, um, will lead to teachers perhaps leaving the profession and feeling demoralised. And some teachers are really concerned about this, so much so they're threatening to strike to stop it happening. Now that Premier League match between the top two clubs, Man United and Chelsea, has just kicked off at Old Trafford. At the moment, it's goalless. Chelsea have many reasons to be confident they can win. They've won their last five league matches against the Big Four. And of course, Wayne Rooney is out of action. Speaking earlier about his side's chances, Chelsea boss Carlo Ancelotti was being more wary. Everyone know how Rooney is important for this team. He's a fantastic uh, player. He did a fantastic season, and so this injury could be an advantage for us. But maybe sometimes uh, 
a team can give more than 100% when a very important player is, uh, is out. A mudslide in the South American country of Peru has killed at least 20 people. Days of heavy rain brought on an avalanche of mud and rocks, which officials say has completely covered an entire village. More than 120 homes have been destroyed or damaged. Now, we're always hearing about people throwing their food wrappers on the floor or not cleaning up after their dogs, but now it's rubber bands that are at the centre of a little row that two girls in Milton Keynes are determined to win. Here's Ricky. Meet Keela and Gemma. The girls on a mission to clear their streets of these. The red rubber bands dropped by postmen and women as they deliver people's mail in Milton Keynes. I get really angry because it's like littering. There's maybe 10 to 20 down every street. Why do the postmen do it? Because they can easily put them in their pocket. It's going to harm like small animals like squirrels, hedgehogs and badgers that might choke on the elastic bands and also it's not good for the environment. Royal Mail says it tells its workers how important it is not to litter and millions of the rubber bands are reused every week. But Keela and Gemma say more needs to be done and they'll keep collecting until Royal Mail gets the message. Although they're quite small pieces of litter, they're still quite bright and quite obvious. We want them to maybe put them in their pockets or keep them, maybe put them in post boxes or take them back to where they work. Now, guys, before I go, how about this for an amazing animal? Check out this beluga whale showing off his painting skills in China, holding a brush in his mouth and nodding. He creates paintings within minutes. He draws in the crowds with loads of people hoping they'll be able to get one of his famous works of art. That's all for me. I'm back at 5 to 3. Until then, you can head online to play our Easter quiz. Bye-bye. Laugh out loud in your Easter holidays <laughs> on the C-Movie C-Channel.